let's say they're making about 280 sales a month. That's 67 grand. Wow, that's insane. This is probably the best product page I've seen hands down. What's going on everyone? Mara here with AutoDS. In today's video, we're going to be covering 10 of the most popular and successful dropshipping stores. So that way you can take a few examples from them. You can see what they're doing, how they have their stores structured, but not just that. Also, what apps are they using to help them in the entire process and to help them find success? So if that's something that's interesting to you, if you've been wanting to see what other dropshippers are doing to really make them successful, then make sure you check out this video all the way through because today's video, it's going to be a pretty fun one. We've got some pretty cool and some very unique Shopify stores on here. So with that, let's go ahead and get to it. Now, before we do go ahead and get started, as always, I'm going to have an easy to reference cheat sheet with all of the different links to the different websites and the different apps that they're using as well. And if you want access to that, just go ahead and drop a comment down below with the hashtag Shopify. And let me know what your takeaway is from this video. All right, let's go ahead and get started now for real. So the first website on this list is going to be Pet Clever. Now, if you've seen some of my previous videos, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you have, you know that one of my favorite niches and one of the ones that I say is the most lucrative is always the pet niche because people absolutely love their pets. Sometimes, or a lot of the times, just as much as they do their kids. So because of that, pet dropshipping, it's a huge niche. Now, this website in particular, Pet Clever, they did everything right. They knew what they needed to do. They knew who their target audience was and they got to work. So just checking out the website itself, you can see that it's pretty well structured, except for this huge banner. This is the one thing that kind of gets to me. I would just make this a little bit smaller, but regardless, they're super successful either way. So just scroll down through the banner and then we can see some of their featured products. Let's check out some of their titles. Two speed, automatic moving mouse, cat toys, self play with two pieces, hanging feather string. Okay, so this obviously it's it's the basic somewhat generic product titles that you're going to see from your suppliers but i mean they can be made a little bit better but this could be something that they do for seo purposes but either way the grammar itself it's not the worst it makes sense it's just it's it's just a very long title but regardless one thing that i'm noticing is that all of the prices they end in 90 cents that could be something that they do for consumer psychology reasons then they have oh well, this is actually pretty cool they have a blog post so they have blog posts that you can use to learn more about certain topics for your pets. These are really good because if you can have a marketing section or a content section in your store, which by the way, if you're dropshipping on Shopify, Wix or WooCommerce, you can go ahead and easily create one. But if you go ahead and start creating different articles that can target certain topics in your niche, you can fill it with different keywords that people are going to be searching for. And from there, once people click into your articles, they read through it. You can link them to different products in your store or regardless, they're already going to be landing in your website. So either way, you're going to be getting traffic to there. Now, I know not everyone's a content writer. I'm definitely not. But one of the things that makes this a lot easier for us is AI. So you can use something like ChatGPT or Google Gemini to create an entire blog post for you. The only thing you have to do is just read it over and just tweak it a little bit and make it sound a bit more human. But besides that, the other thing you can do is simply hire somebody in Fiverr. So continue scrolling through. We have your one stop online pet shop. So they have a little summary on what they do and who they are. They have the reviews, which I always think having reviews in the home page and on your products page is a fantastic idea. It adds to the social proof and it gives your customers trust in actually making a purchase. Then they got their free shipping banner, which is always something good. It's always a good incentive customer service. They even have a phone number. That's really good. And that's pretty much it. Let's check out one of their product pages really fast. Let's check out this one. So the product page itself is actually, it's good. It's not over cumbered. It's not full of, you know, different descriptions, bunch of text everywhere, a bunch of different images everywhere, like some of the other drop shipping stores that I've seen. So overall clean, straight to the point, looks good. Let's check out on similar web really fast, how much traffic they're getting. So through here, I searched up the Pet Clever website and here we can see that for petclever.net. So far between May to July, they've had over 12,000 visitors. Now it seems to be less than what they had last month, but either way, 12,000 visitors, that's, <laughs> That's a good amount of traffic to your store. Monthly visits are about 4,000. So between May to July, yeah, that makes sense. All right, now onto some of the different apps that they're using. So one of the apps that they're using is gonna be the Candy Rack all-in-one upsell. What Candy Rack does is it simply shows your customers relevant products to what they're purchasing when they're checking out. So that way, as they're purchasing, they can make a quick decision. They see something and they're like, oh, this is really cool, add to cart, check out. Besides that, for their product reviews, they're also using Luke's product reviews app and the infinite options app, which this app really what it does is it gives you a bit more flexibility in giving your customers different variations or different options that they can choose from. All right, next up at number two, we have LitLamp. 
Now, Lit Lamp has been around for a while because I remember seeing them last year. And so far, their website hasn't really changed too much. Maybe they've added a few different products and a few different things that they've changed around. But overall, it looks pretty similar from what I can remember. So the first thing that we see as soon as we jump on here is this discount. This little pop-up discount saying, how does 10% discount sound? I mean, everyone wants to save money, right? So this is perfect. A lot of the times in pretty much any dropshipping website, most of them, you're gonna get a pop-up at the beginning that's gonna ask you for your email in exchange for a discount code. This is the best way that you can start growing your email list. So the more emails that you can collect in exchange for just a simple 10% discount, the more customers you have the option to market to later on down the road. So let's go ahead and exit out of this. And just looking at the website, you can see that it has a nice and modern feel to it. So it's pretty cozy. It looks pretty techy, pretty modern. It looks, it looks good. Like I love the whole aesthetic of it. I love that they're branding pretty much everything on their website. Like here you even have the lit lamp, smart wireless solar surveillance camera. So it looks like they're expanding their product lines as well. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome to them. Look at that. You got another pop-up right here. Pretty sure it's from the same exact app too. Lit lamp, you've just unlocked a special discount. Just give me your email. So as we keep scrolling, you can see that they have bundles as well. So you can choose your bundle. They have the basic, the best saving and the best selling. That's actually pretty cool the way that they have that structured but scroll down oh they even have customization now wow that's pretty cool create your own neon sign i might actually end up making one of those for back here but overall the website is super clean they got the reviews down here and as always what i love about reviews is when they include images like these besides that scroll down you got there subscribe to our email section and that's it overall really good like I keep saying, it's clean, it's straight to the point, and overall, it's it's very easy to navigate. Let's check out one of the product pages really fast. Let's check out this lit lamp G clock. I'm pretty sure most of you have seen this. Oh, that, that's where I've seen it because of this particular lamp. How could I forget that? All right, so overall, you have the description on the side. It's a little bit long, but it's it, it's informational at least. It's not just a bunch of random images that you also have here on the side. So at least there's that, and over here it's not overly cluttered. Besides that, you have the actual reviews for this product here on the side, so that's good as well. You have a few recommendations as to what the user may like, and that's it. Looks good overall, great website. Let's check out the traffic through similar web really fast. Now between May to July, it's gotten almost 20,000, so 19,000 visits, not bad. Monthly visits, 6,364. That's that's a good amount in just one month. Now, as far as the Shopify apps that they're using. So for one, they're using Aftership. Now, Aftership is a fulfillment service, which pretty much what it does is it just updates your customers with their tracking numbers. It makes it a lot easier for your customers to track their orders. And there's a few other features to it, but that's primarily and for the most part what it's being used for. But if you want a bit more information on Aftership, again, just check out the cheat sheet. The links are gonna be in there. Besides that, it looks like they're also using Luke's for their different product reviews and for their product reviews importing. And volume boost. So the volume boost app is those little pop-ups that you saw at the beginning when we first started looking at the website that, that we're trying to collect your email. That's what an app like this does. So this app helps you out with discounts, volume discounts, product discounts, and just different ways to be able to discount your products. All right, next up, we have a pretty high-end website or a pretty high-end store, and that's Warmly. So upon landing on their homepage, the first thing that you're going to get is a modern and pretty luxurious feel to the website. The only thing that I don't like about this is this background, this t-shirt. It just, I wish the image was a bit sharper, but besides that, everything else actually looks really good. Like look at the images over here with the different categories. They have very clean images. They look very good. Just one thing I would add would probably be a border on them. So that way they could stand out a little bit more. But if you keep scrolling down, you can see all of their different products. Everything just flows with the website. Everything goes with the niche and with the style modern not too simplistic i was gonna say simplistic but not really it's really just more modern and abstract pieces for the house so scrolling through you have the best seller section furniture favorites and you can even go ahead and click and see all of their inventory so overall it looks pretty good everything is categorized by the room from what i can tell so through bathroom furniture and lighting now this makes sense but i feel like it could be a bit more organized and maybe the images could be a bit smaller but besides that i mean it does look good it's modern it's pretty easy to navigate i just feel like the images are a bit too big now let's click into one of them let's check out this vintage brass faucet which is actually very very nice now the product page itself looks good 
The only thing that I'm not a huge fan of is all of the different images here on the side. And if you've seen the monthly product videos, I talk about that a lot. I'm not a fan of having a huge list of images on the side. I prefer to just have clickable ones. So that way it's not just a bunch of scrolling. But besides that, you have the text over here, all of their information. It's pretty simple, straight to the point. It's not too much information. It's exactly what your customer needs in order to make an informed decision. Now, scrolling all the way to the bottom, you have the product reviews, which like I keep saying is an awesome thing to have on the product page. You have the related items and that's it. Looks good. Everything looks really good on this website. Now, one of the apps that they're using on here is going to be push owl notifications. So what this does really more than anything is simply help you out with marketing. So it'll help you get more conversions and it'll help bring in customers that have visited your site in the past. They also have the best currency converter. So that way you can convert currencies no matter where it is that the customer is. So if they're in the US, they'll see USD versus if they're anywhere else, they might be able to see CAD, like for Canada or pounds, or just simply whatever currency it is in the country that they're shopping from. And last but not least, trusted site trust badges. So did you notice these right here, the PayPal, Shop Secure, and the McAfee? That comes from the trusted site trust badges. So what this does is it actually adds a little bit of extra trust for when your customers land on the page. They can see these trust badges, which do just that. It helps build trust in them so that way they feel more comfortable when making a purchase. All right, next up we have one of my favorite websites on this list and that's Notebook Therapy. The reason I like this so much is because I love the entire feel and just the look of the website itself. I think it flows so nicely and the products themselves are fantastic. Everything looks so good. So the first thing you see when you land on their homepage is the Notebook Therapy page. Now they have over here their banner. It's a decent size. It's not huge. It's not taking up my whole screen. Oh, look at that. $50 gift card. Enter for a chance to win. Just give us your email address. Yeah, I'm not doing that right now. Now, if you go ahead and start scrolling down, you have their new collection. So new products that first come in. This is actually a pretty good way to introduce new products to your customers that land on your homepage. Looking at the product titles, I love them. I think they're great. I think they're simple, straight to the point. Suki La Luna Collector's Edition Moon Planner Bullet Journal with a little moon emoji. Simple, straight to the point, very easy to read. Cord Tote Bag, Suki Bullet Journal Stencil Set, Suki Our Stories Washi Tape Set. So everything is very clean. Everything looks very good. Everything is very aesthetic and everything goes, everything goes with the flow, I guess you could say on this website. Everything works very well together. So keep scrolling down. You have few more, the different categories that they offer. Adding to social proof, they have their Instagram on here. They have their Instagram feed. Now, this is something that I haven't seen a lot of people do, at least not in the previous websites that we've seen. All you see is the reviews, which you got to love reviews. It's a great way to have those on there. It's great social proof. But being able to have something like this, like your Instagram feed, it's perfect. This really adds to the social proof as well, especially if you have or if your business has a larger social media following. Now, if you keep going down, you actually have a free principle. That's pretty cool. A free incentive to get people to go to your store and then just more products that they have available and blog posts. Look at that. Now let's jump into one of their products really fast. Let's check out their three layer bento box. So the product page, let's see. Oh, they got that one thing I don't like, all of those images on the side. It was doing so good. All right, but either way, it's not overbearing at least, but I would just go ahead and take off all of these images and just have them as options over here that you can click on. Just make it a lot easier to scroll through the product page. But besides that, the information on here, pretty good, straightforward, straight to the point, not overbearing, very easy to read. Take your meal prep to the next level. This biodegradable wheat straw bento box has a convenient three layer design. All right, pretty good grammar. And then at the bottom you have the reviews. Good. Now, as far as the apps that they're using, we can see that they're using in cart upsell. So what this helps you do is simply just upsell your products and upsell your customers, offer them different products that are going to be relevant to what they're already trying to check out with. They have search and nice search and filter, which makes it a lot easier for your customers to search through your website for what they're looking for and the best currency converter again. So that way you can pretty much shop from anywhere in the world and see relevant prices to your currency. All right. Next up, we have another luxury and high end brand. And that's going to be Veneto Design. So the first thing that we see when we jump on here, once again, is them incentivizing you for exclusive deals for your email. Let's go ahead and exit out of that for now. Now let's scroll through their homepage. You have their nice little, we bring beauty to every home banner. Looks pretty good. Shop by collections. So they have their different collections, their dining, their lighting, their bedding. Then they have the actual collections and they have the different products they offer. Wow, these 
are very unique. These are very interesting plates. I've never seen something like that. And they're $240, that's insane. Okay, before we continue with this, I wanna see how much traffic they're getting. So let's look it up on similar web really fast. Wow, they're getting 44,000 views between May and July with monthly visits about 14,000. That's insane. Assuming that they're doing maybe 2% in sales, we said, what, 14,000 times 0 0.02. Let's say they're making about 280 sales a month. 280 sales a month times, let's say that somebody's just buying these plates, 240, that's 67 grand. Wow, that's insane. I'm in the wrong line of business. Well, I need to start opening up a, a luxurious home goods store. This is, this is very, very lucrative. But either way, I mean, the look of the entire website, it kind of justifies the pricing. Because when you jump onto a website like this, you're expecting to spend a pretty penny on some of these different types of products. All right, so let's just quickly jump into one of their product pages. I want to check out this bed set right here. That is a gorgeous bed set. $389. Must be super soft. All right, all right. So far, everything looks very good on the product page. You have the scrolling images on the side while you have the description just standing on the side or static description on the side. Looks good. The scrolling through the website is very, very smooth. Everything's going pretty easily. You have the different sections here for the shipping and your care guide. This is really good. Having a care guide to be able to show your customers how they can actually properly take care of their products, especially for something as high end as this. It's something that's very helpful to the customers and something that they'll really appreciate as well. Then keep scrolling. You have the frequently bought together section and the reviews also the related products all right looks good honestly this website in my eyes is i'll give it a nine out of ten simply because the cover image is a little bit blurry but i'm just being critical at this point overall it's a fantastic website now as far as what they're using so the different types of apps that they're using for one they're using the candy rack upsell app as mentioned earlier this is an app to be able to upsell your customers offer them different products offer them different related products they also use the Vitals Reviews Bundles. So this can help you bundle different products together, offer different product bundles or different sets to your customers. So that way you can increase your average order value and your customers can get somewhat of a break on their pricing because they're purchasing bundles. But not just that, it also helps you out with the reviews. So it'll post the different reviews for the bundles or for different products as well. And the last app that we're gonna mention for this website is gonna be Clavio Email Marketing and SMS. So this is that app that just collected my information at the beginning, offering me the discount. And this is also the same app that could potentially be sending me text messages with different sales or different information on things that are going on for the store. Now, before we go ahead and continue with the rest of the stores on the city's list, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to be able to start getting your store set up with minimal effort. This way you're able to start up your store and actually have a converting store, a store that actually looks good and can rival most of the stores that you're seeing on today's list. Now, the easiest way to do this without really just diving head first and spending hours upon days or weeks on your store is to simply use AI. So what you can do is you can run over to AutoDS, go ahead and sign up for our trial period, which you can get started right now for just $1 for the next two weeks, and you'll get access to the pre-built AI Shopify stores. So once you sign up and you have everything set up, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and click on add your store. Now, once we go to add our store, you're gonna see this option right here, the Shopify store. Go ahead and continue. And we're gonna choose the option in the middle. So we're gonna go with the use AI to generate a pre-built Shopify store option. So let's go ahead and continue. Now, one quick thing to note about this is that you are gonna have your store fully set up, but not just that, included with your store, you're also gonna have winning dropshipping products that are handpicked by expert dropshippers for the niche that you select. So next up, you need to select your niche. Now for this, I highly suggest that you go with something that you know, something that you're interested in, because that's just gonna make it a lot easier for you to actually choose products going forward. It makes product research a lot easier because you know what works. So in this case, let's go with pets. Go ahead and click on next. And then AI is gonna build our store for us. Now let's run over to Shopify. And once our store is ready, we're gonna get our login credentials over here. Now just go ahead and log in with those. And from here, the next thing that you're gonna to have to do is simply select the plan, but we can skip that for now. And let's just go ahead and check out the store itself so we can see how it came out. So this is my pet store. And as you can see here, we have the banner already set up. Welcome to Pet Paradise. You can go ahead and shop the collection, scroll to the next banner. You can scroll through and you can see the products that were automatically added. So here you have a couple of different automatic dog feeders and a cat toy and a review section even. 
Now, not just that, but you also have all of the different pages made for you, like the about us section, the facts or the frequently asked questions, a contact us section and your different policies. Now let's jump into one of the product pages really fast. So just quickly checking out the product page, we can see here that it has the different images that we can scroll through. So you can go ahead and click through the different ones. I like this right here, the little animation for the buy it now. So it's kind of telling your customers, hey, over here, go ahead and add to cart. You have your different options, a little bit of information on your policies. So 30 day warranty, exchange and returns. And besides that, if you scroll through, you're going to have a pretty quick description and a few other images. Then at the bottom of the page, you have a few related products and a few trust badges. So that's actually pretty good right here. These trust badges, always a good way to add some social proof. Now that's just one way that you can quickly get started creating your own converting Shopify store. If you want a bit more information on build your store, you can check out this video right here. In it, I explain everything that you need to know on how you can get started with creating your store using AI. I walk you through the entire process and even how you can start to customize the website itself. So make sure you check that out so that way you can get a fully operable and converting Shopify store. All right, let's go ahead and continue. All right, up next at number six, we have Twinkle Tree. Now, the style of this website, I think is fantastic. I think they did a great job and let's just go ahead and check it out. Now, of course, as always, as we keep seeing, a popular trend, the first thing that we see when we jump on is the website asking for our email address. So if you're not using one of these apps, one of these marketing apps or email collection apps, then you're missing out. There's a reason why every single store does that. Email marketing is actually supposed to be one of the most powerful marketing tools out there. Even though it might seem a bit outdated, email marketing is insanely effective. So jumping over to twinkletree.com, we can see that the first thing that you see is the banner and the banner is actually very, very well structured. There is not a bit of blurriness or pixelization that I can see. I love it. Now, the whole theme, it goes very well. All of the colors match. Everything looks good together. Everything is very aesthetic. Keep scrolling through. This is beyond beautiful. I think this is awesome right here. The products all match the aesthetic and the theme of the website as well. The images too, they all look very high quality and they all match too. You have the magical treasure trove. So then you have a few different products and the reviews. Overall, this website is just hands down amazing. I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. Let's check out the hummingbird lantern really fast. So the product page has the different images here on the side. Some of these do look kind of stocky, like they're stock images from the suppliers, but either way, they're still pretty high quality. Look at this, a trust badge featured in Buzzfeed, Forbes, Vogue, and Business Insider. Is that true? I don't know, but I mean, people probably do think it's true. So scroll through. We have a bit of a description. OK, so I thought this was going to be longer, so I'm pretty relieved. You just have one image here and a pretty nice description with some nice little icons. You got your little drop down boxes here with the information and very nice customer reviews. And that's it. All right. Honestly, at this point for this one, hands down 10 out of 10 for the website, I think it looks great. Oh, and check it out. 50% off summer sale ending soon. All right. That's pretty good. I like the fact that this is updated because summer itself is actually ending pretty soon at the time of this recording. Now let's check out the different apps that they're using. So for one, they're using monster cart upsell, which is used to help upsell and offer different products to your customers as they're checking out. They have the Luke's product reviews app, which is one that you've been seeing pretty constantly through the different websites that we've been covering and Zigpull customer surveys. So a lot of the times people want to know what their customers think of their products, of their websites and just overall their experience. So this is what this type of app is going to help you achieve. It's going to help you get feedback on your store so that way you can start to adjust and tweak it appropriately. Not just that, but it also gives you a little bit of extra insights and an extra look into what people are doing throughout your website. So it gives you information on abandoned carts. So what did people abandon? Where did they abandon it? Purchase tracking and different types of analytics. Up next on number seven, we have the Meowington's cat store. So once again, the first thing that you see on here is the website asking for our emails to incentivize us with a discount. Now the website itself, the first thing you're going to see is a bunch of different cats through the banners. I already feel myself starting to sneeze. I'm allergic to cats, by the way, but the pictures actually look really good. Like they look like they could potentially be taken through customers or the actual website owner, because I'm pretty sure these are a few of the different products that they offer as well, but let's go ahead and check it out. So right under the banner, you have the different categories that they offer. Well, that's pretty cool. They have prints on demand, which by the way, we also offer prints on demand through AutoDS. So if that's something that you want to add to your store, something that you want to add to just your overall product offerings, you can go ahead and start offering different types of products for not just the humans, but a few also for the pets. Now keep scrolling. You have 
satisfy your cat's needs and a little video or a gif playing in the background that's a very nice feature it really adds to the overall aesthetic you have the little badges over here you shop we give they purr a portion of the proceeds goes towards helping rescue cats in need also oh, this is not just a regular store this is a store with a mission that's very good then keep scrolling and you have their jungle gym cat tree this is pretty cool now this seems to be their featured product and then they have product reviews it looks like or just images that their customers have submitted i think yeah this is through instagram so this is their instagram feed so this is an instagram app now you can keep scrolling through and you have different related products their testimonials and a bit more information including some cat comics well that's pretty cool that's something unique instead of having a blog post they have a little cat comics section that's pretty cute that's interesting now let's quickly just check out one of the different product pages so let's check out the jungle gym and wow it is very sophisticated this looks really good this is probably the best product page I've seen hands down throughout all of the different websites we've checked out today. You have the reviews. They're very nice and organized. You have the what you may also like section. Oh, this is pretty cool. The banner scrolls with you scrolling through the website and you have the reviews up here. This is a very good product page. This is very well built. This is definitely a custom one. This isn't one of your free themes. Now, if you do want to get something like this, what you might need to do, honestly, is probably just go on Fiverr. Go on Fiverr, look for somebody that can design your Shopify store for you, and just send them something like this as an example to see if that's what they can achieve. Because honestly, this looks really good. Now, checking out the different apps that they use. For one, they're using Trusted Site. So you can see that they have trust badges throughout their website. They also have stamped product reviews and UGC. This is primarily what they're using it for, from what I can tell, is going to be for the product reviews and SC Sales Motivator. So what this does is it helps you add different types of countdowns and different free shipping banners for your website. Not just that, but it helps you promote different products or different promotions that you're running to different countries or different regions. So if you're running a particular promotion in the US, but you don't want to run it in Canada, this app will help you show that discount only to the US and not Canada. Now, I've been seeing a lot of Instagram feeds on a few of the different websites that we've seen. And one of the things that you can do for this is because there's quite a bit, you can simply just go on the Shopify app store and look up the Instagram feed app and you're going to find a few different ones. So from here, honestly, my suggestion would be to try one, see how it works in your store, see if you like it, see if you like how it looks and how easy it is to use. And if not, just uninstall it and go with a different one. Back when I had Instagram on one of my old shops, I actually think I went through like four different ones before I finally settled on one that was actually easy to use. So don't be afraid to try a few of the different apps because honestly, you're gonna go through a few of them to find out which one actually works best for you and which one you find easiest to work with. Okay, next up we have Optimalex. And honestly, that's a pretty strange name. It was kind of weird for me to pronounce it at first. And at the same time, I'm kind of thinking like, what does that even mean? But regardless, it's got a pretty nice little logo on it. So Overall, it looks pretty good, but the website itself, it's actually, it's pretty good. It's pretty straightforward. And what they focus on is just overall wellness. So I think one of their key items or one of their main products is going to be a hot and cold mask or something that you put over your head that is actually supposed to help relieve migraines. We'll see it in a second. But overall, from the moment that you jump onto the website, you can see that it is more of a holistic style website, more of a natural remedy or just overall health and wellness style website. So the first thing that you see when you jump onto the website is the hot stone massage picture. So that kind of adds to the overall theme and the overall niche. One thing that stands out to me right off the bat that I actually don't really like is the fact that the text is insanely small. This right here, you can get away with it, but up here, order today for free shipping, that's really, really tiny. But that's not a huge deal, but still you kind of want your customers to be able to see that. So let's just go ahead and scroll down a little bit. So here you have the Thermax hat, All right? So, so I guess that's what they're calling it, a hat. And this is supposed to have some sort of cold and warm compression technology that is supposed to help relieve your migraines. Now, overall, the marketing that you're seeing on your screen, the pictures that you're seeing, they're really good. Everything is very effective and everything really shows off the product. And really, it just simply shows you how easy it is to be able to use one of these products. Not just that, the pictures themselves, they actually show some sort of emotion. Like, look at this one right here. This one's showing the person putting it on and they're kind of just holding their head, which kind of implies that they have a migraine and they're using this for some sort of relief. Same thing goes for the one right under it for your neck, which it's pretty much going to be the same thing. It's going to be compression technology for both hot and cold that can over all just help heal any sores any aches and any pains 
and the pictures that they chose for that, they portray it perfectly. Now, continuing scrolling down, we can see a pretty big picture. That's one thing that I'm not entirely sure about. Like, why are these images so huge? But regardless, scrolling down past that picture, I, I just think that picture is just way too big. You have the natural remedies, the ice thermax, a little bit more information on their products, the two different colors. I'd go with the black one. And you have their newsletter. So overall, this is a pretty small shop. It looks to be a two item store. Oh, never mind. Once we click into the different types of products in the shop, then you can see that there's a lot more. Okay. So overall, you can see that they're keeping the whole aqua blue theme throughout the entire website. Now, the products, they look good. They have some pretty good pictures and everything looks pretty good. The only thing is, is that it's, it, I feel like it's too cluttered. I feel like there's too much going on in this one product page and it would be so much better if they can probably just make the images a little bit smaller or just a little bit easier to navigate or a little bit easier on the eyes. Taking a look at the product titles, everything is very simple, which is actually really good. So a hand massager, a fitness aqua bag. That's pretty interesting. That's pretty cool. The Servalax. AccuBall, the Molex Gen 2. I have no idea. Oh, that's for cupping. There you go. That's what it's called. That's for cupping. I've actually seen these on TikTok a lot lately. And just overall, you can see that all of their different products, they are more or less centered for health and wellness. So overall, they do have a pretty consistent theme in terms of their niche. So everything does work together, all of the products. Uh, just those few changes that I mentioned, like the text being kind of small and just being a little bit over cumbered in terms of images on the shop page or the products page. But let's look into one of the actual products. So let's check out the cupping one. So here we can see that 23 reviews, pretty good, 4.8 stars. The product itself looks good. It has some pretty clean images. These look all right. They're not pixelized or blurry. Now, one thing that might add just a little bit extra to the overall aesthetic would be for these pictures right here, the ones that have a plain background, just completely remove the background and have only the product. That will really put a little bit more emphasis on the item itself and it'll kind of clean it up too. But besides that, here tells you what it can help you with. So it can help you with neck pain relief. It, it'll help you improve posture. That's interesting. And reduce stress. It gives you a product recommendation over here telling you that this product will go good with the Thermux hat. And you can see that right off the bat, they're already trying to upsell you. Let's check out the description. Okay, so everything looks pretty good. You have an image, a little bit of description, some text, then the image. And then you have, okay, so a few, not necessarily testimonials, but people who use the same type of therapy, just not necessarily with the same product, but you know, just overall the same concept. That's a pretty good way to be able to show off the effects and the benefits of cupping, at least in this case. Then you have the, you may also like and recently viewed and the reviews. So overall, it's a pretty good page. I would say give it maybe a seven or eight out of 10. It's pretty good. Just those couple little things that I found to be a little bit annoying. So as far as the apps that they're using, the first one that they're using is the gem pages landing page builder. Now this app can actually help you build your landing page, but besides that, it also has a few other features that you can take advantage of. Some of them being able to help you with creating different types of bundles, like the one that you saw over here, offering you this hat with the cupper. It also helps you out with being able to price your quantities. So being able to sell higher quantities, giving people a price break and volume discounts. But that doesn't seem to be what they're using it for here. It seems to be more than anything for the upselling and potentially even the building of the landing page. Besides that, it looks like they're also using Klaviyo, which is going to be an app that helps you with email and marketing. Now, it's not necessarily going to only help you with email, but it also helps you with SMS or text messages, which has also been a pretty big way or a growing way for people to start marketing their products and being able to keep their customers up to date with things like different sales and different promotions. And the other one is, once again, Luke's for the products reviews. All right, next up at number nine, we have a pretty interesting website. This one's a little bit different in terms of how they promote their products and the types of products that they're actually offering. And that's going to be Mivi Mall. Now, Mivi Mall is supposed to specialize in things like home, home gadgets and new technology or just overall the electronics niche as well. But once you jump onto their website, you're going to see that it's a little bit more than that. They sell a little bit of everything. So I would say that this is kind of a general store with emphasis on home and electronics. So right off the bat, the first thing that stands out to me is going to be the logo. So Mivi Mall, it's an interesting logo. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to stand for or how they came up with even these little designs, but it's pretty interesting. I guess the fact that it's a mall can kind of get people to understand or just think about multiple products or multiple types of products in the website. 
not entirely sure. I'm kind of just guessing here. But besides that, you can see that they have their basic banner. It's not much to be seen, but it kind of does also show emphasis on the whole home side of things. And then they have their new arrival section with a bunch of different products that are all using GIFs. Not all of them, but a lot of them are using GIFs to be able to show what the product is. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. On one hand, it's a pretty good idea because it can kind of give your customers already an idea of what the product does or what it is before they click on it. But at the same time, I feel like there's just too much going on at once. So with all of these different moving parts, all of these different moving images, it kind of, it's kind of distracting. It's just a little bit too much. Then just looking forward a little bit more, you have the sign up and save asking you for your email and all of their pages in their footer. So overall, it's a pretty straightforward website. The landing page is pretty easy. It's pretty easy to navigate. Now let's check out their products page. I'm interested in checking out this one right here, the wireless charging welding tool. Okay, so I, I see what it is. It is just a wireless welding tool. So it's pretty simple, straightforward. Now, the product page itself, the beginning of it is pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. It's not over cumbering. It doesn't have too much information on it. The images all look, they look pretty good. Some of the images are, are a little bit pixelized, they're a little bit blurry, but I mean, how much more can you really expect if somebody's kind of just taking the images directly from the supplier, which kind of looks to be what they did here. But then if you scroll down a little bit, you're going to have the description with a few more GIFs and, and just a lot more text. Okay. So this is one of those things that you've heard me talk about before. I'm not a huge fan of just a ton of scrolling. So my suggestion here would probably be to just take the GIFs, put them on the left, take the text, put it on the right, and then maybe swap it from time to time. So that way it's kind of easier to just scroll through and it's a lot quicker too. Now, besides that, they have the description all the way at the bottom, kind of mixed in with all of the other images. So it's kind of hard to see this. These are one of those things that it's it's good to just have a dedicated section for it. So that way people know what to look for and it'll be easy for them to find. Because honestly, if somebody's looking for a description or some details on the product itself and they can't find it because there's just too much text, they're going to jump off of it. But then under that, they have the you may also like so product recommendations. And that's about it. I think my favorite part of this product page is going to be the footer down here. The fact that it follows you. So no matter where you are on the page, you can just go ahead and click on add to cart and go ahead and purchase it. But besides that overall, I mean, if I had to give this one a score, I would probably give it maybe like a five or a six out of 10. It's not necessarily my favorite and I'm not a huge fan of those gifts either. Now, in terms of the different apps that they're using, one of them is going to be the reconvert post purchase upsell app. Now, what this app is supposed to do is simply bring you in a bit more profits, increase your average order value, by being able to offer your customers a few more products, a few recommended products, and just overall upselling them. And then the other one is going to be the OmniSend email marketing and SMS app, another marketing app that's going to help you with your email and your text message marketing. All right. And last but not least, at number 10, we have Squishine or formerly known as Squishine. It's now called Cute Shop with a three different E's. I'm not sure why they have three E's there. So cute shop, maybe I'm not sure. Either way, they it looks like they have rebranded, but they still offer a lot of the same products that they had. So I'm kind of thinking that they might have rebranded simply because Squishmallows started really popping off. So just, you know, to avoid any conflict. But if you look into, let's say their mushroom family over here, you can see that they still offer pretty much what the old name implied, which is going to be these squishy little plush squish toys. Now, also the new name kind of does work with it. Cute shop mushroom family. You know, it, it's it, it's still pretty cute, so it kind of works with it. But overall, you can see that that's pretty much what they're offering on their page. Now, let's take a look at the at the home really fast. But you can see that they have tried to increase their product offerings. So now you can see that they have something like this wave projector light, which it's not necessarily in line with what they were offering before but it does add to it. It does increase their products and what they can sell. Overall, it kind of does work with what they're selling because they're selling plush toys primarily. And something like this can kind of go hand in hand with it because a lot of the times people are going to purchase these plush toys and it's going to be most of the times for like a kid's room or something like that. So something like this would add to it. Something like this could be seen or used as a nightlight. Now down here, they have all of these trust badges. So apparently they've been on Vogue. They've been on the American Academy of Sleep Science. They are a red dot award winner. Never heard of them. The National Sleep Foundation. How true all of these are? I have no idea. But besides that, scrolling through is pretty much the end of the website. So their landing page, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. I want to check out one of their product pages though. And in this case, <laughs> I like these over here. I want to go with this one right here. So they have their cute shop 
Mewai, I believe it's pronounced, original design star kitten. It seems to be just a very squishy kitten. The image itself is actually pretty good. You can't zoom in on it and they don't have more pictures to click through, but it seems that when you start scrolling, you're going to see a few more. Now, overall, they have, oh, pretty cool. This is actually something that you see on a lot of dropshipping websites, but funny enough, I didn't see it on any of the previous ones, or maybe I did, I just didn't notice, but they have the bundle and save. So you can buy one, you can buy two, or you can buy three at different discount breaks. Now, scrolling through, you have the trust badges, you have the free shipping, the 30 day returns and 24 seven live support. You have one review, which I'm not sure if there's more or if they're just showing one. And then you have a few details on the product itself. Oh, there you go. Actually, you can actually scroll through the reviews. That's interesting. I haven't seen that. Now scrolling through, you have the description, some safety information over here. That's pretty interesting. That's pretty cool. The shipping information and their payment information along with some related products. Okay, so overall, it's pretty good. I like the fact that it's not too much that you have to scroll through and you're not gonna have just a huge empty space on the left as you're scrolling through everything on the right. All right, so as far as the apps that they're using, one of them is gonna be the Vitals Reviews and Bundles, which we talked about earlier before. Same thing goes for the best currency converter, meaning that they're probably drop shipping not just in the US, but in other countries or regions as well. And the OmniSend email marketing and SMS app. So what did you think of these Shopify stores? Let me know down in the comments below. And remember, if you want access to the cheat sheet that's gonna have all of the links to all of these stores, including all of the links to all of the different apps that I talked about. Make sure you comment down below the hashtag Shopify and let me know what your takeaway is from this video. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Again, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this video and the different stores. If you're still watching, smash that like button because obviously you enjoyed this video or you're still enjoying this video. Hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. My name is Mario with AutoDS. I wish you all nothing but success in your dropshipping stores as always, and I'll catch you all next time.